you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, this is probably like, probably like the sixth video I've recorded. I've been up all morning. Guys, I'm grinding for you guys today. I really am. This is like the sixth video. Three of them will be going up tomorrow. You'll This will be like the second video you see today. I gotta get these in a pretty good order for you guys. So I did just drop Series 2 finally being live in the game. I went over everything, the masters, the sets, the solos, just everything you could think of. And now this video is the video I promised you guys would be coming right after. This is going to be the what you should be doing right now Madden 20 Series 2 video. Because realistically when Series 2 drops, it's overwhelming. There's master cards, there's sets, there's solo challenges, there's objectives. And you're probably sitting there like what the hell should i start with so i'm going to rank them in order of what i think that you guys should be doing first to maximize your coin potential to maximize efficiency how i would be going about this as a content creator and as a madden for fun player there's two different ways to go about this so guys before we get into this video and we get into all the good stuff make sure to go down below hit that subscribe button guys the grind's real go hit the subscribe button let's get to 9,000 subscribers as soon as possible we're grinding for it Turn on that noti bell to get notified for all these videos I'm dropping so you guys are right there when they happen and they get posted. And make sure to like the video. Let's get this video to 200 likes. Best way to show support, drop a like. And boy, let's get into this. So first things first. As a content creator, this is my plan. I'm going to be making all my videos for you guys. Then I'm going to go finish the gauntlet. And I'm going to go get level 60. Now for you guys, one thing I'd recommend, you guys might want to be checking out this market real quick. I'm going to show you guys this real quick. So they did drop the limited time players back into packs. So if you guys don't already know, they're called the Redux players and they are going for cheap, cheap right now. I don't know if they dropped as their own thing. No, they're gonna be dropped. So let's look at Signature Series. They're down to 400K base. Now I did, I have to find with these Redux cards, but I don't know what they'll be under. Let's go look, let's go to 90s to 91s. Their price is gonna drop tremendously guys. So if you guys ever wanted limited time cards or anything, you might wanna be scouting the auction block. Prices are coming down right now. I'd recommend you guys check that. Philip Rivers is 280K Redux. Devontae Adams, 280K. Christian McCaffrey is 300K. Cameron Jordan's 298K. Limited time players are affordable now, boys. This is kind of good for the, um, the outlook of Madden that we can finally get some of these cards. We can, now, we can now power up these cards too. I like how they did the Redux because if they had just made them limited times and not limited times, it would have killed their value. But being a Redux that comes out in packs, it definitely helps out with getting these limited time players. Bo Jackson 1.1. I don't know if there's, been, there's not been many Vicks or any of those posted yet, guys, but I definitely stay on top of that. Just a quick little tip. Before you get into all these steps, I recommend you check out the block, see how things are looking, because prices are going to dramatically change with these Redux players being pulled, as you guys saw there. Let's see if there's any here that... Were there any limited time players this low? I don't remember. Yeah, I didn't think so. All right, now, what I would do right now, as a casual, avid Madden player, just looking to get the most coins and everything... I, me personally, I'd recommend you guys go play the gauntlet first. The gauntlet's really important. The gauntlet, if you go over to challenges and you come over here to the gauntlet, it guarantees you great rewards, a free 89 overall player that I think you guys all want. So gauntlet, you're gonna need to get your free player. So first off, for most teams, you're gonna get a 71 plus overall player, 71 plus overall player for tier two. So those, in my opinion, are a pack. People don't see it that, as it that way, but what is a gold pack? A gold pack is a, a 71 plus overall player. That is a gold and a bunch of silvers. Pretty much you cut the silvers out and you get just a guaranteed player so in my opinion that's two gold player packs ten thousand coins now these are like gold plus packs or like all pro packs like let's just say like you're guaranteed better odds these could pretty much almost guarantee you a good chance at an elite then you get fifteen thousand coins then you get 81 plus overall so that is a guaranteed elite and they're not now remember that so you could sell them so the market might come down a little bit on some elite cards then at 100 stars you get the fantasy pack now to get 100 stars let's say you got five stars in every challenge it would take you 20 total 20 total uh, challenges to get to this fantasy pack. This is where you get the player. Now your choices are Juju Smith Schuster, Ed Oliver Jr. Not a choice. He's horrible. Then there is Derwin James. There is, ooh, I'm blanking. Derwin James, Ed Oliver, Devin White, Juju Smith Schuster, and wow, I don't remember the fourth, fifth guy. Oh, Leonard Fournette. So in my opinion. I already went over my top options. I dropped that video this morning. After this video, of course, go check that out to know what you guys 
should be picking or at least give i'll give you guys a little bit of my thought process on what you should be picking i haven't decided yet who i'll be picking i have to get to that pack first and really think based on my i mean i'm gonna pretty much base on my rankings my number one guy is probably who i'm gonna be taking but i really have a i have a sweet spot for juju smith schuster and then here twenty five thousand coins another 81 plus overall player and an expert token that expert token is important because when you get all those tokens from this one the next gauntlet and the third gauntlet that will be coming in the next few series you will get a guaranteed gauntlet master which i think was like a 95 overall last year so just remember that so after you're done with the gauntlet you're going to want to start the level up grind. Now, to get to the level up grind, I will be making a video tomorrow going over the fastest way to level up. So, you're going to want to be following that. You're going to want to level up to level 60. Considering the gauntlet will probably take you most of the day with the little free time you guys have. So, next, you want to get to the level grind. So, the level grind's over here. Come over to missions. This is important. You come over to missions. You go to series progression, mutt level. So, if you guys are already level 50, right? I'm, I'm assuming. At least most of you. At level 51, first level, you get an 86 overall fantasy pack and an 84 overall fantasy pack. So the 86 overall costs about three bucks. I recommend you buy it. You get a free quick sell platinum player in there. I always recommend you take the platinum player. It is an 85 overall. You can quick sell that for like 100k, just about. I don't know the exact price, but it's about 100k. So you're gonna quick sell it for 100k. So that's 100k at level 51. And then the 84 player pack, you can just take it, take the 84 player and sell him. His prices may be down, but you're gonna get at least five to seven k back on that at least. So that's like another 7k right there. So that's 100k, let's just say. Level 52, you get a gold premium pack. Pretty awesome. Here you get the level master token for Tory Holt. Then you get a 30k coin quick sell. So you're rocking with like 140k already. Maybe more if you get something from the pack. Here you get an 87 to 80 overall power pass, which can be used on like guys like DeAndre Hopkins, Bobby Wagner, Von Miller, Jalen Ramsey, Aaron Donald, Khalil Mack. The options go on and on. That's an awesome power pass right there. Then at level 56, you get another fantasy pack for probably $3. Again, another platinum player. So you're probably rocking with like 250k plus whatever you get from the packs and the coins you're saving from the power pass, plus the 84 pack again. And then at level 87, you get a gridiron pack. Okay, mediocre. It's okay. I'll still take it because with the Redux players and packs, I kind of want a chance of pulling one of them. Next is going to be another Mutt level level master upgrade token. So at this point, I think Tory Holt is going to be about a 92 overall, which is pretty awesome. Gonna have a beastly wide receiver. Then at level 59, you get a 30 coin quick sell. And at level 60, you get an 89 to 90 overall power pass, which does kind of suck. Not the power pass, but usually at the max level, you get some cool pack, like a full Mutt Legend, a full limited time card, something, you know, something cool, right? So it does not look like they're dropping that this time, which kind of sucks. But again, I will take the 89 to 90 overall power pass. I already made a video going over the best players to use this power pass on, but it is releasing tomorrow morning, most likely, because I won't have space today with all the videos I'm making. But that's fine, because most of you guys won't have Mutt, Mat Le Mutt Max level today and got one done anyway, so you won't even need it for tomorrow. So I did drop it. I went over my top options on what you should be taking for that. So turn on the noti bells, get uh, notified tomorrow when that goes up. I think I already figured out who I'm doing, me personally. You guys can see that all in that video, but that power pass is awesome. You can pretty much get any full legend in the game that hasn't come out in the last like two or three weeks. You can pretty much get almost every card in the game at like the highest overall cards in the game, minus the newest cards and obviously Mutt 10 and stuff, but that's an awesome power pass. Uh, you'll probably end up saving like three to 400K on any card you use that on as long as it's a 90. I recommend you keep it to 90s, not 89s, because the 89s go for like 150, 200K. The 90s go for 300K plus. I just recommend you keep it to that. Now, once you're done with Mutt level and you're done with Gauntlet, it's time to start that trophy grind, guys. Mutt dedication. I highly recommend, not Mutt dedication, serious progression again. You come over here to the Series 2 Multiplayer ones. I think you should start racking up your multiplayer trophies, getting all these Series 2 trophies. Now, if you do all of these, 120 times 5 is about 600. Plus these, that's about 720, 780, 810. You get, I'm not going to do all the math here. You get close to about 1,000 trophies for that, like 950, 1,000 trophies. You're going to come over to Store. Now, this is optional here. It depends on what you guys want. So there is a Mutt Master or a Series Competitive Master, Melvin Gordon the third. So I personally will not be taking this Melvin Gordon. If you are a Chargers fan or you're low on coins, you want a running back, by all means take him. His stats are good, but there's already better running backs in the game than him. And I think there'll be much better ones coming out shortly in this series. So I won't be bothering with him. But if you guys want him, feel free to. I'm going to use my 1,000 trophies on another John Madden collectible. I'm trying to get him maxed out because John Madden is a huge boost for your team. So I'd recommend you guys get on this John Madden grind if you haven't already. But you do get 1,000 trophies from doing all the multiplayer wins. So I'm going to be doing that. Gonna get into weekend league to start getting some more trophies, guys. And now, once you're done with all of that, I recommend you just go peek over the set in case this isn't exactly an ordered thing, but I'd highly recommend you go check it out. Come over to sets and you go over to exchange. Go peep over your team and see is there any cards you have Nat that you don't want? Like, I have a Nat DeAndre Hopkins, a Nat Corey Schlesinger. So, those two right there could go into the set right here. So, in my opinion, like, if you have any Nat cards you didn't like, let's say you got like a Nat. A Nat, uh, I don't know a guy that's 87 that you wouldn't want, but let's say you have a Nat DeAndre Hopkins. He's slow. I don't want him. 
you have a Nat themed diamond you really didn't like, like that Veruccius guy that I said to hold on to because you could do this. And you have another Nat card, and you're like, wow, I don't like any of those cards, they waste space on my team. You go like that, you toss them all into here, and you get a free 89 to 90 overall player. So pretty much in theory, you'll get a free 90 to over, 89 to 90 overall player, plus another free power pass. You're getting two of these. This series update was pretty huge, guys. I really enjoy how they did, they went about this and dropped this. I would have preferred a slightly better series master, in my opinion, but you know what it is? It's Melvin Gordon. It makes sense because he won't be getting an upgrade for a while because he is not playing right now. He's holding out for a contract, so it kind of made sense to give him his card now, and then other guys will get their cards just by playing with Team of the Weeks and stuff. But that is it for the video, guys. I hope you did enjoy. If you did enjoy, give this video a big thumbs up. Let's get it to 200 likes. Make sure to comment down below what you'll be doing first in Series 2. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, boys. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.